Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. Additionally, in today's headline section, we have a sad update regarding Amy Schumer. As part of the Immortal News family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Number 11. Ira von Furstenberg, a luminous figure in the realms of fashion, cinema, and European aristocracy, passed away at the age of 83. Born into the storied Furstenberg family in Rome, Italy on April 17, 1940, her life was a vibrant tapestry that interwove the worlds of high society, fashion, and film. Her heritage was as diverse as her talents, with roots that extended into the Italian Agnelli family and the German princely house of Furstenberg. At a tender age of 13, she embarked on a modeling career that would see her walk the runway for the likes of Emilio Pucci. Her beauty and poise caught the eye of the international press and filmmakers alike leading her into a film career that spanned over 28 movies. Though she never formally trained as an actress, her natural charisma shone through in each role she undertook, from her debut in Matchless to her would-be role in Barbarella, which she famously declined. Beyond the camera's lens, her impact on the fashion world was profound. From her early modeling days to her later work as a jewelry designer and the public relations manager for Valentino, she left a lasting mark on the industry. Her entrepreneurial spirit was evident in the establishment of her fashion house, the Ira von Furstenberg collection, and her jewelry line, Objects Uniques, showcasing her impeccable taste and creative vision. Her personal life was as colorful as her professional one, marked by two marriages into the princely families of Hohenlohe Langenberg and to Brazilian industrialist Francisco Baby Pignatari. Her relationships and social standings placed her at the heart of international high society where she was celebrated for her elegance, wit, and generosity. Beyond her glamour and socialite status, Ira was a dedicated philanthropist, supporting numerous charities and serving as the patron of the Children of Africa Foundation. Her legacy extends beyond the worlds of fashion and film to the many lives she touched through her charitable work. Tributes to Ira von Furstenberg Number 10. Lanny Flaherty, a veteran actor cherished for his compelling roles and significant contributions to the entertainment industry, passed away at the age of 81 following surgery in New York City. His portrayal of Big Al in the 1993 cult classic Blood In Blood Out immortalized him as a scene stealer, leaving an indelible mark on his audience and peers alike. Flaherty's journey from the South to New York City mirrored his unwavering passion for acting, which he pursued with dedication and excellence throughout his career. Flaherty's acting prowess was unmatched, showcasing his versatility across a myriad of roles that spanned decades. His ability to transform into any character he played made him not just a character actor but a chameleon of the screen. His departure is mourned by a legion of fans and fellow actors who admired his commitment to his craft and the depth he brought to every performance. Known for his meticulous preparation and genuine human touch, Flaherty's work was a masterclass in acting, resonating deeply with those who watched him. The entertainment world has lost a remarkable talent, and the outpouring of condolences and tributes speaks volumes about the impact Flaherty had. As the industry and his fans reflect on his legacy, they remember not just the roles he embodied but the profound influence he had on storytelling and acting. His legacy is a testament to the passion and dedication he brought to his craft, inspiring future generations of actors to pursue their dreams with the same fervor and integrity. Tributes to Lanny Flaherty Number 9. Golden Richards, a former NFL wide receiver known for his time with the Dallas Cowboys and Chicago Bears, passed away at the age of 73 due to congestive heart failure. 
His journey from a multi-sport high school athlete to a professional football player is a story of remarkable talent and determination. He made his mark in the NFL with his speed and agility, becoming an integral part of the Cowboys' offense and contributing to their Super Bowl 12 victory with a memorable touchdown catch. His legacy extends beyond the football field. Despite facing personal challenges, his resilience in the face of adversity was notable. Diagnosed with Parkinson's disease later in life, believed to be linked to his football career and lifestyle, his struggles highlighted the physical and emotional toll professional sports can take on athletes. Beyond his athletic prowess, Richards contributed to the sports community as a host and co-producer of ESPN Outdoors, sharing his passion for hunting and fishing. His life story, marked by both dazzling highs and profound lows, serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities behind the glitz of professional sports. People who knew Richards remember him not just for his on-field achievements, but for his spirit and the battles he fought off the field. His journey through triumphs and trials has left a lasting mark on those around him, offering lessons in perseverance and the importance of support and understanding for athletes facing personal challenges. He will be remembered as a talented athlete who brought excitement to the NFL, and as a person who faced life's challenges with a resilience that inspires empathy and understanding, tributes to Golden Richards. Number 8. Stan Bowles, who passed away at the age of 75, leaves behind a legacy as one of football's most unforgettable characters, both for his skill on the pitch and his maverick lifestyle off it. Born in Collyhurst, Manchester, his journey through the footballing world took him from the youth ranks at Manchester City to becoming a legend at Queen's Park Rangers, where his flair and non-conformity shone the brightest. Despite his off-field antics, his talent was undeniable leading QPR to their greatest league finish as runners-up in the 1975-76 season and earning him the title of the club's all-time greatest player in a 2004 fan poll. Beyond his footballing achievements, he was known for his vibrant personality, engaging in activities that often kept fans and teammates alike both amused and bemused. His autobiography revealed a life lived to the fullest, marked by drinking, gambling, and a passion for the game that defined his career. His contribution to the sport extended beyond his playing days, as he became a pundit, writer, and an enduring figure in football culture, celebrated by fans and fellow players, including being John Barnes's personal favorite. As news of his passing spreads, tributes pour in from all corners of the football world, reflecting on a man who was as much a character off the field as he was a talented player on it. His battle with Alzheimer's disease revealed in 2015 brought attention to the struggles many former players face, highlighting the need for support and recognition of these challenges. His legacy is that of a true footballing maverick, a player who entertained and inspired with his skill, spirit, and sheer unpredictability. His memory will live on, not just in the records and trophies, but in the stories, laughter, and joy he brought to the game. Tributes to Stan Bowles and Number 7. Wilson Fittipaldi Jr. passed away at the age of 80, leaves behind a rich legacy in the world of motorsport. His journey began in the vibrant racing circuits of Brazil where he and his brother Emerson crafted carts, marking the start of a lifelong passion for racing. Born into a family deeply rooted in motorsports, his father was a pioneering journalist and promoter, laying the groundwork for his own path in racing. His racing career was notable with participation in 38 World Championship Formula One Grand Prix and a brief yet impactful stint in Formula One, where he scored three championship points. Despite the shadow cast by his younger brother Emerson, a double Formula One world champion, his contributions to the sport were significant. He founded and ran the Fittipaldi Formula One team, showcasing his dedication and love for racing beyond the driver's seat. His personal life was intertwined with motorsports, from his early days building carts with Emerson, to managing a Formula One team, and even seeing his son Christian follow in the family's racing footsteps. His untimely departure on his 80th birthday, following a tragic incident at dinner, 
has left the motorsports community in mourning. His legacy, however, remains undiminished, a testament to a life dedicated to the pursuit of speed and competition. As we remember Wilson Fittipaldi Jr., we reflect on a man whose life was a beacon for aspiring racers, a dedicated family man, and a visionary team owner. His passion for racing and his contributions to the sport have left a lasting effect, ensuring his memory will live on in the hearts of fans and racers alike. Tributes to Wilson Fittipaldi Jr. Number 6. Edith Seccarelli, who passed away at the age of 116 on February 22, was a remarkable figure not just for her longevity, but for the vibrant life she led. Born in Willits, California to Italian immigrants, her life spanned over a century of profound changes, yet she remained a constant source of inspiration and joy in her community. As the oldest person living in the United States and the second oldest in the world at the time of her passing, her remarkable age was a testament to her strength resilience, and the love that surrounded her throughout her life. Her story is one of deep roots and enduring connections. Her life in Willits, a small town where she was born, married, and eventually returned to, paints a picture of a woman deeply intertwined with her community. Celebrations marking her birthday each year became a local tradition, with her final birthday being honored with a drive-by parade, showcasing the high regard and affection in which she was held by her fellow townspeople. Her personal life was marked by both joy and loss. Marrying her high school sweetheart, Elmer Keenan, and later Charles Seccarelli, she experienced the depths of love and the pain of loss, outliving two husbands, her daughter, and three grandchildren. Despite these challenges, she danced well into her old age, lived independently until 107, and remained active with the help of a walker until 114. Her legacy is one of vitality, resilience, and the capacity to embrace life's joys and sorrows with grace. Her long life, marked by personal milestones, reflects a century of history lived through the eyes of someone who cherished each moment. As the town of Willits and the nation remember her, the words of those who knew her best paint a picture of a woman whose spirit and zest for life were truly incomparable. Tributes to Edith Ceccarelli. Number 5. Juana Bacallao, affectionately known as Juana La Cubana and Juana La Caliente, passed away at the age of 98 on February 24. Her journey from the streets of Cayo Hueso in Havana to becoming a Cuban music icon is a story of resilience, talent, and infectious energy that captivated audiences worldwide. Rising from humble beginnings and overcoming personal tragedies, her discovery while singing during her work as a house cleaner marked the start of an illustrious career that would see her share stages with legends like Nat King Cole and Benny Moray. Her voice and dynamic stage presence broke barriers, making her a symbol of Cuban musical heritage. Her signature song, Juana Bacalao, not only became her stage name, but also an anthem celebrating Cuban guaracha's vibrancy. Her performances were more than just concerts. They were exuberant celebrations of life, marked by her unmistakable charisma and warmth. Even in her later years, she continued to tour, including memorable appearances in the United States and Puerto Rico, and on international platforms such as Anthony Bourdain, Hearts Unknown, showcasing the timeless appeal of her music and personality. The Cuban Premio Nacional del Humor awarded to her in 2020 was a testament to her ability to bring joy and laughter to her audiences, underscoring her multifaceted talent. Tributes to Juana Bacalao have highlighted not just her musical legacy, but her role as a beacon of Cuban culture, whose spirit and passion transcended borders and generations. As we remember Juana Bacalao, we celebrate a life that embodied the soul of Cuban music and the power of perseverance. Her legacy is a reminder of the joy and unity music can bring into our lives, making her an enduring inspiration. Tributes to Juana Bacalao. Number 4. 
Jean Guy Talbot, a legendary figure in the world of hockey, passed away at the age of 91. A revered Canadian professional ice hockey defenseman and coach, his illustrious career spanned from 1955 to 1971, during which he left a permanent mark on the sport. Known for his exceptional passing skills and a playing style that combined finesse with physicality, he was instrumental in helping the Montreal Canadiens secure seven Stanley Cup championships, a testament to his significant contribution to the team's dominance in the league. His journey in the NHL was marked by his tenure with teams like the Minnesota North Stars, Detroit Red Wings, St. Louis Blues, Buffalo Sabres, and notably, the Montreal Canadiens. His ability to maintain a clean yet assertive presence on the ice earned him a spot in six All-Star games and the honor of being voted a first-team All-Star in the 1961-62 season. Off the ice, his influence extended to his coaching career, where he led teams with a distinctive approach, leaving a legacy that transcends his personal achievements. Beyond his professional accolades, Jean Guy Talbot's life was rich with personal milestones. Born in Cap de la Madeleine, Quebec, he was a family man, cherishing over 70 years with his wife, their two sons, a daughter, and five granddaughters. His passing in Trois-Rivières, Quebec, marks the end of an era, but also celebrates the life of a man who was much more than his on-ice persona. His legacy is not merely in the records he set or the titles he won, but in the respect he garnered from teammates, opponents, and fans alike. His contribution to hockey goes beyond the rink, embodying the spirit of dedication, resilience, and sportsmanship. As the hockey world mourns his loss, it also celebrates the enduring impact of his career on the sport. His name will forever be synonymous with hockey excellence, and his story a source of inspiration for generations to come. Tributes to Jean Guy Talbot. Number 3. Joan Hanapel, a luminary in the world of figure skating and sports broadcasting, passed away at the age of 83. Her legacy is as multifaceted as her career. She was not only a champion on the ice, but also a revered voice in sports presentation. As a three-time European bronze medalist and a four-time Dutch national champion, she blazed a trail for Dutch figure skating, becoming the first from her country to win a continental medal. Her prowess on the ice was matched by her dedication to promoting and supporting the sport off it. After hanging up her competitive skates, she transitioned to a successful career in television, lending her insights and passion to audiences across Europe for over 30 years. Her work with NOS, Avro, ZDF, and Eurosport brought figure skating into the homes and hearts of countless viewers. Beyond her broadcasting achievements, her contributions to figure skating continued through her involvement with the Royal Netherlands Skating Federation and her founding of Stichting Kunstrijden Nederland, a testament to her commitment to nurturing the next generation of talent. Her accolade as a knight in the Royal Order of Oranje Nassau in 2008 underscored her significant impact on sports and culture in the Netherlands. Colleagues, fans and young skaters have shared heartwarming tributes, highlighting her inspiring legacy warmth and unwavering support for the skating community. Her passing marks the end of an era, but her legacy endures, a beacon of excellence, perseverance, and grace. She will be remembered not just for the medals and titles, but for the lives she touched and the sport she helped shape and promote. Tributes to Joan Hannipal. Number 2. Lyudmyla Alfimova, a beacon of Ukrainian theater and cinema, honored as a distinguished artist of Ukraine in 2003, has left an everlasting mark on the arts. Her journey from aspiring pilot to celebrated actress encapsulates a narrative of dreams transformed, illustrating the diverse paths to artistic acclaim. Initially dreaming of the skies, she found her true calling on stage and screen, graduating from the Kharkiv Theater Institute in 1958. Her career blossoming at the Kyiv Young Viewers Theater and later at the A. Dovzhenko Film Studio showcased her versatile talent. Her film debut in his generation paved the way for a distinguished career, but it was her lead role in Wedding in Malinovka 
that cemented her status as a household name. Over her career, she appeared in over 40 films and lent her voice to around 170 projects, leaving a legacy of prolific contributions to Ukrainian culture. Her personal life, marked by a blend of triumph and tragedy, mirrored the depth and complexity of the characters she portrayed. Her first marriage to Felix Mikhailovich Alfimov, a military pilot turned flight engineer, and her subsequent partnership with Ivan Sergeyevich Kalnitsky, whom she met under the cinematic spotlight, added layers to her off-screen persona. Tributes to Lyudmila Alfimova have poured in, celebrating not just her artistic achievements but her resilience and passion. Colleagues and fans alike remember her as a pioneering spirit whose performances transcended the screen, touching hearts and inspiring countless individuals. Her legacy, enriched by her dedication and talent, endures in the annals of Ukrainian performing arts, serving as a testament to a life vibrantly lived. As we bid farewell, we honor her memory and the permanent impact she had on both her craft and her community. Her story is a reminder of the power of art to overcome barriers, to transform personal hardships into universal triumphs, and to leave a lasting legacy that inspires future generations. Tributes to Lyudmila Alfimova. Today's top headlines. News 1. New York City bids a heartbroken farewell to Flacco, the renowned Eurasian Eagle Owl, whose adventurous spirit captivated hearts far beyond the confines of Central Park. Tragically, Flacco's journey came to an end following a collision with a building, as confirmed by the Central Park Zoo. The city rallied around Flacco after he escaped from his vandalized enclosure over a year ago, marveling at his survival skills and freedom in the urban wilderness. His unexpected foray into Manhattan's bustling streets, from Fifth Avenue to the iconic Plaza Hotel, not only turned him into an overnight sensation, but also a symbol of resilience and freedom. The zoo's statement mourned the loss of Flacco, attributing his untimely demise to the reckless act of vandalism that set this extraordinary tale in motion. News 2. Pete Dougherty, the iconic Libertines frontman, has candidly shared a significant health update, revealing his diagnosis with type 2 diabetes. This news comes after Daugherty's open discussion about his tumultuous journey with substance abuse and its impact on his health. Known for his vibrant presence in the music scene, Daugherty's admission sheds light on his ongoing battle with addiction and the physical toll it has taken on his body. In a shift towards a healthier lifestyle, Daugherty has embraced sobriety, supported by bandmate Carl Barat's insistence on a no-alcohol policy during the creation of their latest album. This new approach marks a stark contrast from the Libertines' earlier days, known as much for their music as for their offstage exploits. Doherty's efforts to manage his health, including taking blocker injections to combat drug cravings, reflect a transformative period in his life. News 3. Amy Schumer has shared her diagnosis with Cushing syndrome, a rare health disorder, sparking a wave of support and concern among fans and followers. At 42, Schumer opened up about the challenges she faced in recent weeks, including undergoing extensive medical tests amid speculation about changes in her appearance. Cushing syndrome, characterized by an excess of cortisol, can lead to serious complications if not addressed, making Schumer's diagnosis a critical turning point in her health journey. The diagnosis came as Schumer promoted her Hulu series, Life and Beth, where her puffy face did not go unnoticed by the public. Despite the fear and uncertainty, Schumer's condition is reportedly one that will just work itself out, providing a sigh of relief for the beloved star and her family. Schumer's openness about her health struggles, coupled with her advocacy for women's health and self-love, underscores her resilience and determination to raise awareness about medical issues that often go unnoticed or misunderstood. As Schumer continues to navigate her diagnosis, her story serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of health advocacy and the strength found in vulnerability. News 4. In a historic moment at the Pentagon, Colonel Frank Rubio was awarded the Army astronaut device by Secretary of the Army Christine Warmoth, marking Rubio's 371-day record-setting spaceflight as a pinnacle of American space exploration. This recognition places Rubio among an elite group of soldiers, highlighting his contributions from his combat experience as a Black Hawk pilot to groundbreaking research in space. 
Rubio's journey, which emphasizes teamwork and dedication, inspires a global audience, underscoring the Army's significant role in advancing space exploration in collaboration with NASA. As Rubio looks forward to future missions, his achievements continue to inspire the next generation of explorers, reinforcing the importance of unity in humanity's quest beyond our planet. News 5. Model Tanya Singh, 28, was discovered unresponsive at her residence in Surat, prompting a police investigation. The inquiry has revealed a connection to IPL cricketer Abhishek Sharma of Sunrisers Hyderabad, following the recovery of a WhatsApp message from Singh to Sharma. Despite no immediate allegations, the police plan to question Sharma for clarity. Singh, a noted fashion designer with a significant social media presence, leaves behind a community shocked by the tragedy. The investigation continues to unfold, aiming to piece together the events leading to this sorrowful outcome. Number one, Roger Giedemann, passed away at the age of 100, leaves behind a monumental legacy in the field of neuroscience. As a French and American neuroscientist, his groundbreaking work on neurohormones not only earned him the National Medal of Science in 1976, but also the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1977, an honor he shared with Andrew Shalley and Rosalind Sussman Yallo. His research has fundamentally altered our understanding of the human body's internal communication systems. Born in France, he completed his early education at the University of Burgundy before earning his MD from the medical faculty at Lyon in 1949. His relentless pursuit of knowledge led him to Montreal, where he achieved a PhD in 1953 under the mentorship of Hans Selye. The United States became his new home when he joined the Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, eventually becoming a naturalized citizen in 1965. His contributions were pivotal in establishing the Salk Institute in La Jolla in 1970, where he dedicated his efforts to neuroendocrinology until his retirement in 1989. His collaboration and eventual discovery with Andrew Shalley of the structures of TRH and GNRH have been crucial in advancing our understanding of hormonal regulation in the human body. Beyond his scientific achievements, he was a vocal advocate for human rights, demonstrated by his petitioning for the release of Gedun Choiki Nyima, recognized as the 11th Panchen Lama, who has been under house arrest in China since 1995. Colleagues and fellow researchers have praised Gieleman not only for his scientific intellect, but also for his unwavering dedication to advancing human health and rights. His work has left a lasting mark on the medical and scientific communities, inspiring generations of researchers to explore the intricate mechanisms that govern our bodies. His legacy is not just in the discoveries he made, but in the lives he touched through his research, advocacy and mentorship. Tributes to Roger Gieleman.